Okay, guys, today we'll take lesson five, one step division equations, page 369. Uh, before I start, guys, if you have any questions on the previous lesson or homework, you can ask me. Before I start, if you have any questions about the previous lesson or homework, you can ask me. Hey, Sam, do you have? You put your hand. Mr. I have. Mr. When yeah. We, Mr. When we what you applied. Have? Question? Uh, yeah. Question. Question one. Question uh, one, one, one over two. Which question, Yabni? Eight in the homework. Question eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. What's the uh, What's the equation? Tell me. Five Five over eight W. Five over eight W. Multiply W. Well. Equal one over two. One over two. Tell me, what's the first step, yeah, I saw. First, we will rewrite it. Yeah, let's rewrite it. Five over eight W equals half. Then, then five five over eight five over mm -hmm. eight divided by five over eight. Divide by five over eight in both sides, right? Yes. These are gone, right? Yes. Still W here, and here we make long division. Uh, sorry, fraction division, right? Mm. Yeah, one over two divided by 5 over 8. How we divide? First, 1 over 2 multiply 8 over 5. We know that, right? Yes. So it will be what? 8 over 8. 8 over 10. So W equal 8 over 10. But we can simplify it. Make simplest form, remember? Yeah. Divide One. by 2 up and down. It will be what? 4 over 5. So this is W. But Mr. How four over five and they wanted one over two. What? Oh no 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 nothing. Do you understand it, Yabni? Yes, yes, yes. Other questions do you have? No. Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. This is a question for Mr. Uh, Isam. Now let's start our lesson, guys. But before we start, let's remember what we did until now. Until now, we took three types of equations. The first one, it is the addition equations, the addition equation. The second one, it is the subtraction equation, the subtraction equation. The third one, it is the multiplication equation, right? Now, until now, we took these three types of equations. For example, in the addition equation like x plus 3 equal 9, in the uh, subtraction equation x minus 3 equal 9, in the multiplication equation 3x equal 9, right? Now, in the addition, we do subtraction of the connected number x plus 3 equal 9 minus 3 both sides, x will be 6. And we know how we check our answer. In the subtraction equation, we do addition in both sides. X minus a three equal nine plus a three in both sides. X will be 12. In the multiplication equation, we said we divide both sides by the coefficient, which is the number multiplied by the variable. So three X equal nine, divide both sides by three, X will be three. So we did addition equation, subtraction equation, multiplication equation. In addition, we do subtraction. In subtraction, we do addition. In multiplication, we do division. So in division now, we will do multiplication. So in one step, in one step, division equation, division equation, multiply, multiply, multiply both sides, both sides by the divisor, the divisor of the variable. Okay, now, what's this mean? 
Let's first take an example about the division equation. For example, x over five equals 11. This is division equation, x divided by five equals 11. This is division equation. What is the divisor of the variable? It is five. Now in one step, division equation, multiply both sides by the divisor of the variable. Multiply both sides by the divisor of the variable. In multiplication, divide both sides by the coefficient. In the division equation, multiply both sides by the divisor of the variable. So here, I will rewrite the equation x over 5 equals 11. The divisor of the variable is 5. So I'll multiply both sides by 5, like this. Multiply by 5, multiply by 5. And I use the dot for multiplication. I can use the multiply, but because we have x, we use the dot as a multiplication. Now let's multiply. 5 times x, 5x over 5. The 5 with the 5 gone. 1, 5 up and 5 down. They are 1. It's still x here. 11 multiply 5, 55. This is the answer. Now, to check our solution, Take the 55 and put it here. 55 divided by five is 11. This is example one, solve. Example two, for example, t over five or three equals 12. t over three equals 12. The first step, rewrite the equation. t over three equal 12. We have division equation, let's read. In one step, division equation, multiply both sides by the divisor of the variable. What's the divisor of the variable? It's a three, so I multiply both sides by three, like this. Multiply by three, multiply by three. And don't try it, multiply by three here down. Don't do that, it's wrong. You need to multiply up besides the variable or the line, like this. Now, 3 multiply t over 3. 3t three over 3 means 3 over 3. They are 1, gone. Still t equals 12 multiply 3, it is 36. This is the solution. To check our answer, take the 36 and put it in the place of the t. It will be 36 divided by 3 equals 12. So, in addition, we do subtraction. In subtraction, we do addition. In multiplication, we do division. In division, we do multiplication. Both sides by the divisor of the variable. Let's take another example. For example, if we have this equation, for example, if we have this equation, eight equal y over six, eight equal y over six, now the first step, we rewrite the equation, eight equal y over six. Now where's the variable, the y? What's the divisor of the variable six? Read, in one step division equation, multiply both sides by the divisor of the variable. The divisor of the variable is six, so I'll multiply both sides by six. So here I'll multiply by six up like this, not down. And here also multiply by six. Now in this side, the six with the six are gone, still one. Here is still y, and the equal comes down. Eight times six, 48. So y equals 48. To check our solution, go to the equation, replace this y by the 48. 48 divided by six is eight. Another example, if we have, for example, 2.13 equals n over 7. First step, rewrite the equation 2.13 equals m over 7. Read, in one step, division equation, multiply both sides by the divisor of the variable. The divisor is seven for the variable, so I'll multiply both sides by seven. Now seven, it's gone with the seven, it's still m. 
equal comes down. And here I multiply. We know how to multiply with decimals. Multiply without decimal. 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 9, 14. And the decimal after two digits, so put after two digits. So it will be 14.91. So M equal 14.91. To check your answer, take this 14.91, put it in the place of M, divide on seven, your answer will be 2.13 exactly. So until now, guys, we talked four kinds of one step equation. Addition equation, do subtraction. Subtraction equation, do addition. Multiplication equation, two division. One step division equation, multiply both sides with the divisor of the variable. And these are your examples here. Now, if you have any questions about what I did until now, you can ask them. Any questions, guys, about what I did until now? You can ask Yusuf. Yes, yeah, Mister. Mister, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I hear you. I'm waiting your question. Yeah, Mister. In uh, in in the division, uh, when we uh, when uh, when the, uh, it's over a fraction, uh, uh, why do we have to like multiply here and here when we can just multiply the equal by the uh, denominator? That's seven. I'm afraid. I don't because understand. we cannot do one thing, yeah, Mister, on side, and we don't do the other. That the same thing on the other side. Okay? okay. If you do that, the equal sign won't be valid. Look here. Look at the board. I'm looking. Now six is equal to six, right? Yeah. If I multiply here with two, and here I don't, what yes. this will be? It will be twelve. And this is still? Six. It cannot be equal then, right? Yes. So I need to multiply both sides with the same thing so the equal is still valid. Got it? Yes. That's why I always focused on the two words, both sides. Always. Look here. Subtract in both sides. If you subtract in one side and then no, then the equal won't be valid. Yeah, okay. Here, if you divide in one side, the three gone with the three and the nine is still nine, which is wrong. Got it? That's yes. why I always need to say both sides. It's important. Yes, okay. You understand it now? Yes. Good. Else? Else, guys, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Yes, mister. When in the in the division equations, uh, all of the equations that we will solve always uh, will be fractions, or we can uh, multiplication sentence. I don't understand your question, Yabni. Mister, means you see the examples that you write them. Okay. All of them will be like this in the book. Means the fraction. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, okay. Yabni, it doesn't matter what's the type, what's the numbers, fraction, decimal, I don't care. What I care is if you have a division equation, what you will do. If you have a fraction, whatever. If you have decimal, whatever. If you have whole numbers, whatever. But what I care about is if you have division, you multiply. This is what I care about. Whatever the number is, do you understand it? Yeah, I understand. Thank you. For example, look at the board. I'm looking at the board. For example, see this example. Matalan. Q over 9 equals a 3 over 2, for example. Ah. What's the type of this equation, Yabni? It's a fraction. What is the type of this equation? Uh, Mr. OK, 
because there is no multiplication or the addition. Or the... لا إله إلا الله. يا ابني what's the kind, the type, the kind, the type, the kind. What's the kind of this? What's the type of it? What we name it? One step equation. لا إله إلا الله. اسمها one step division equation يا ابني. Because we have multiplication. We have division here, so we call it one step division equation. Got it? Got it. Now, the first step, what is it to solve? We, um, we multiply the divisor. With no, the we equation. don't multiply. We don't do anything. What's the first step? We write the refract the equation. We write it. Yeah. Rewrite. Rewrite the equation. Q over 9 equals 2 over 3. This is the first step, right? Yes. As I did here, right? Yes. Now, where is the divisor of the variable? What is it? Nine. 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 What I will do now? Nine multiply three. I will multiply it mean Lissa Bahki ma Yusuf and multiply both sides by the divisor of the variable. What is the divisor, Yabni? Uh, the divisor nine. So I'll multiply both sides with nine. That's what you need to say. Yes. Ma say it. You multiply both sides with nine. Yeah, multiply both sides with nine. Huh. Ti mushkile? No. No, as I did here also, right? So now the nines are gone. It's still a Q. And here, how we multiply, you, mister? We multiply normally. Uh, we multiply no. Huh? Nine multiply three equal nine multiply three equal twenty seven. Nine multiply three. Nine multiply two, yeah, Mister. Oh, nine multiply three. Oh, multiply two, yeah, Mister. Don't talk, Don't talk. When you are talking, you spell a lot of mistakes. So don't talk. Stop talking. Okay. Mister Yanal, أخذنا إشي اسمه multiply. Multiplication of a fractions. أخذنا ولا ما أخذنا هذا؟ أخذنا. لا ما أخذنا. لا أخذنا. لا وحياتك ما أخذنا كنا نحلم. We were dreaming. ما أخذنا هو الشاذ. كنا نلعب إحنا. كنا نتسلى. صح؟ ما أخذنا مثلاً three over five multiply seven put this over one then multiply up multiply down ما أخذنا هو الشاذ. صح؟ We take it, Mister. لا يا Mister ما أخذنا هوش. فأنت معذور لأنه ما أخذنا. So this 9 over 1 and multiply 18 over 3 and 18 divided by 3 is 6. Q equals 6. So whatever you have, a fraction, decimal, I don't care. I care about the main idea, the idea. We took decimals. We took fractions. So mother kul wahad shufri decimal yiji yakini mister. We took everything. Just refresh your minds and remember what we did in grade five. And this grade also. We take multiplication and we take division. We didn't do that, right, Mr. Yanal? Yes, we did. Else. Else, ask me. Please ask me, please. Right, let's go to example one together. Yeah. Example one is from page 370, guys. And Mr. Najim Reed. Yes, Mr. 
Benji rode his bike from Pepisburg to Cleveland over the course of a three-day weekend. His average distance was 48.5 miles each day. Good. What was the total? Again with me. Benji rode his bike from Pittsburgh to Cleveland over the course of a three-day weekend, right? So how yes. many days we have? Three days. How many days we have? Three days. And the yes. average distance was how much? 48.5. Each day, right? Yes. So we have three days. And three in days. each day, we have... 48.5. 48.5 each day, right? Yes. Mile per day. Right. Continue, right? Yes. What was the total distance he rode? Hello. The total distance he rode. Do we know the total distance? No. No. So what we'll say, let D... B, the total distance, right? He rode. Right? Yes. Now leave this example and come back, come here with me, you know, Jim, and focus. All of you guys focus. Got it? Najim, are you with me? Yes, I am with you. Now, if we have the distance 50 kilometer, the total distance 50 kilometer, okay? Okay. And you will you will drive or walk or bike whatever five days. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me in each day how many kilometers you will do in each day? We will write x over five. خلك يبني من الكتاب وخلك من الاكزامبل وخليك معي هون. Okay. Yeah. The total distance you need to go is 50 kilometers, and you have only five days. How much yes. each day you will cut? What you will do? We will, uh, we will have 250 in each day. You must apply them, Yabni? Yes. Yabni, fam, 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 rakis. Abtahli mukhaku rakis. Okay. The total distance you need to cut is how much? 50. 50 kilometers, the total distance. And yeah. you will walk how many days? Five days. Five days. How much each day you will pass? If you multiply them, it will be 250 kilometers. But the total 50, how come 250? كل يوم كم حتمشي كل يوم عشان تخلص ال50 هذول 10 10 how you got the 10 this is my question now how you got the 10 we we def uh, we make 15 divide 5 equal 10 ممتاز we make 50 divided by 5 equal 10 equal 10, 10. كيلومتر per one day, right? يعني كل يوم yes. هتمشي كم انت? 10 kilometers. Kilometer. And here is the total distance and here is the number of the days, right? Yes. Now let's go back here. What is the total distance? Do we know it? No, D. It is D. It is D. So if we divide the total distance D on the number of the days, which is a three, three. The answer should be what? Uh, How much each day, right? Which is yes. Montag. This is our equation, yeah, Mr. Najim, right? Yes. D over 3 equals 48.5. Now, I need to solve this equation. Can you tell me how? OK. We, we will multiply 3 in the above side. First, we rewrite the equation we again. Yani lazim aghanniha. Aghanniha, yeah, Najim, shu ra'yak. No, no. Rewrite Yeah. Rewrite the equation again. D over 3 equals 48.5. What I will do now, tell me. We will multiply 3 in the above side. 
Montez, multiply three in both sides. Now three gun with the three, right? Yes. It's still what? D equal, and here I will do multiplication, right? Yes. Now we will make 140. Yes, we will make 148.5. Multiply three equal 145 decimal five. Let me check. Three by five, 15. 24 with one, 25. 12, 13, right? We have one yes. digit, so we put our digit here. It's 135 decimal five. Right. 135 decimal five. What's this? Uh, a kilometer in each day. The, the this, la, in each day, we know it already. Yes, yes. What's this? How what we kilometer? found? We found what? Look here. Look the here. The total distance. Got it? Okay, I get it. So the total distance, guys, 135.5. As they, he walked three days, so each day he get 48.5 each day. Get it? I get it. Good boy. This is example one, guys. I will stop here, okay? And I will finish if you don't have any questions. Any questions, guys? Today, don't solve the homework. Tomorrow, we'll finish the lesson. Then you will do the homework. So thank you so much. And if you have any questions, you can ask me tomorrow at the beginning of the class. Goodbye for all.